Earl Warren, 1891 to 1974, graduated from the University of California, Berkeley with a bachelor's in political science and a master's in law, and then served in World War I. Upon his discharge, he held private practice for a time before entering public service in 1920, where he, re he remained until his retirement in 1969. In 1925, Warren served as district attorney for Alameda County, became the attorney general for California 13 years later, and in 1942 became the governor of California. After an unsuccessful vice presidential candidacy, he was appointed as a justice of the Supreme Court by President Eisenhower in 1953. Warren was a liberal-leaning Republican, which invited the bipartisan support needed to radically reform American law and justice. His court was known for being part of the second great creative period in American public law, which rewrote much of the corpus of the constitutional law. And Warren himself was considered a crime fighter and had a reputation for uncontested convictions. In every position of public service, he reorganized state government and improved social services and infrastructure. It is widely believed that the many civil rights rulings he passed instigated the civil rights protests of the 50s and 60s, and he also enshrined legislative protections for demonstrations and created new privacy rights. The unanimous vote to declare segregation laws unconstitutional during the Brown versus the Board of Education case remains one of his most notable rulings. His court was dedicated to reforms relating to racial justice, racial representation in electoral politics, and minority rights. The Warren Court also successfully and unanimously ruled against state laws which outlawed interracial marriages. His determination and success led President Lyndon B. Johnson to create the Warren Commission and appoint him as leader of the investigation into John F. Kennedy's assassination. In addition to his legislative and socio-political reforms, Warren's life and work transformed the role of judges and the Supreme Court. Shortly after his death, Warren was mem memorialized in the Earl Warren College, an undergraduate institution commemorating the remarkable late justice through pedagogy, which teaches not only law, but its applications in transforming society. Many of his quotes ring true still today. For instance, the most tragic paradox of our time is to be found in the failure of nation states to recognize the imperatives of internationalism. Earl Warren, seated before a fragment of the US Supreme Court freeze. <laughs> 